Now, it's been 45 years since the founding leader of the Pan-Africanist Congress, Robert Mangaliso Sabukwe, died in 1978. Sabukwe was jailed by the apartheid government for incitement. He, of course, organized a march against past laws in Sharpeville. That was on March the 21st, 1960, now known as Human Rights Day. Well, in a few days, uh, the Robben Island Museum Council and Leadership will launch the year of Robert Sabukwe. To find out more, we're joined by Chair of of the Robben Island uh, Museum Council, that is Professor Sax Cooper. Professor, thank you for, for being with us. Uh, this seems fitting because he was a prisoner at, at Robben Island and of course a, a towering figure in the liberation struggle. Was it an easy decision? It was a natural decision. Not only was it what you said, he died in uh, February 1978. Uh, 1978, so it's the 45th anniversary, but it's also the 60th anniversary, which we are uh, officially launching the year of Robert Mangaliso Subukwe on Wednesday, when he was banished to Robben Island as a prisoner. The apartheid regime called him the only political prisoner because he was not held under custody of the uh, Department of Prisons, but he was held by the police. And he was held there from 63 right up to 1969. And on the 4th of May, was banished again to Khaleshiwe Township in Kimberley, where he knew nobody. So here was somebody who was a towering figure. He was very active at, at university in uh, the University of Fort Hare, was involved in the ANC Youth League, took issue with the ANC and eventually broke away and formed the Pan-Africanist Congress and the rest is history. Our first major issue uh, that put apartheid oppression on the world map was the 21st of March and subsequent events uh, arose where the apartheid state banned the ANC and the PAC the following month. And uh, these movements went into exile. There was a hiatus for about uh, eight years internally because people were prohibited from being involved in political activity. The Bantustans arose and other leadership arose like Steve Biko uh, to, yeah. to take that role. So you have important epochs in our country and it's appropriate that we uh, are round in our, how we accord um, heritage and historicity to our struggle. This is the 29th year of our democracy. Next year, we're going to be 30. And it's appropriate that the entire pantheon of liberation heroes get the kind of affirmation yeah. they deserve. Some, so, some would say, Professor, what? some would say that uh, the PAC's contribution has been underemphasized uh, because, of course, the ANC became the governing party. Do you agree with that? Did you consider any sort of, of imbalance that needs to be addressed? Well, look, I think if we look at the ANC's national statement after their uh, imbizo this last weekend, they attempt to put that right. Uh, but the Robben Island uh, Museum Council and all our heritage sites are even-handed in how we deal with struggle. Uh, I myself come from a different background. Uh, my entire council had their own, e each person has his or her own uh, backgrounds and integrity and credentials. I think that uh, it's it's sometimes viewed as the ANC dominance, uh, but that I think is uh, is part of our problem, and we need to tackle that. You, you can't blame the ANC for being victors and lording it over the rest of us. We need to actually claim our rightful places as well. So that. Uh, is up to each of the other organizations. It's up to each of us who plays a role to show that uh, our organizations, our views have credence and to make our mark in the current and the historic context. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the other significant thing about this 
uh, year, Francis, is that the Rivonia trial took place in 60, uh, 1963, and subsequent to uh, Robert Mangaliso Sobukwe being uh, held in a little house on the island, guarded by a uh, policeman and uh, talking to no one, uh, wasn't allowed uh, visitors for a while, and so on. Um, these are very significant events. It's an important yeah. year for us, and uh, we are very rounded and open to ensure that every person, every group that has contributed to bring us to a democracy that is uh, seems to seems to be at the best of times, uh, not on even keel, uh, that we give them the credit for that, because otherwise we'd been an ungrateful uh, country to uh, just forget heroes, heroines yeah. who have played singular roles in our uh, development. All right, let's end on that uh, bigger picture, just because we're, we're running out of time. You said that this is the segue to a celebration around 30 years of democracy. Um, uh, of course, the Nelson Man, uh, the, the Robben Island Museum is a big tourist attraction, but also called in your statement a symbol of hope. Um, how, how's it doing? Uh, can it be something that, that gives South, African, South Africans hope um, and and I guess that historical bearing that you're talking about. Oh yes, most definitely. You see, Robben Island, the last part that we are commemorating now and celebrating is this period of uh, political uh, imprisonment during apartheid. But way before it became a halfway house with the Dutch settlement uh, in the Cape of Good Hope, there were other seafarers. There are artifacts taking us back to some 400 or 500 uh, years before the current era. There was Spanish Armada, I think in the 11th century. Uh, there are seafarers from other places, not Europe. You see, we tend to forget that sometimes history, particularly that dominated by the West, uh, is almost as if people did not exist until they arrived. So if you take the Portuguese, for instance, Vasco da Gama, Bartholomew Diaz, they rounded the Cape. In fact, the names they gave still stay with us, like Natal, you know, on the nat Nativity Day. Uh, if the Choringuas uh, had not repelled the, the Portuguese, we may not be speaking English now, we may be speaking Portuguese, and they ended up colonizing Mozambique. Um, as a result of that, there was a, a moratorium put by the Europeans in terms of rounding the Cape until the Dutch eventually broke that. And uh, then we had uh, Auchimau, the uh, person who uh, could speak all these languages, his niece, a nine-year-old, uh, Krotoa, who was taken into Van Riebeck's uh, house. And if you want to talk about the mother of the nation, there can be no one else but Krotoa, because the Zaiman family can trace their lineage to Krotoa. F.W. de Klerk, uh, Paul Kruger, Jan Smuts can claim direct lineage to Krotoa. So there's a lot of history that needs to be unpacked to make people realize that we are one. Yeah. We're all human beings, and yet we've been divided against ourselves. All right, fascinating. Thank you so much. Um, launching the year of Robert Sabukwe, that was Robin Island Museum Council Chair, Professor, uh, Professor Sachs Cooper.